Okay, go. And... <laughs> Taddy. <laughs> Taddy, go. Oh, uh, so... <laughs> the kid... Like, I was in the back making food. I was just... And I hear the door open. I was like, yeah, I'll be right with you. And in, like, the loudest voice possible, Subway lady, I'm back! And I'm like, oh, no! <laughs> and I, like, look at him. He's like... Subway lady, I brought you more water. I was like, I don't, I don't want it. Don't, don't want it. And he's like, wow, Subway lady, you look much happier today. See, I told you the water would work. I was like, I didn't drink your water. <laughs> Do you like, think maybe he put like, something in it? Uh, I don't know. He's like five, so I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not like that. I meant like sugar or something. Uh, maybe? It tasted like normal water, so I guess. <laughs> and then, as I was making his dad say, he wouldn't shut the fuck up. He's like, today, I drew a picture, and hang on, let me get out my backpack. And this picture, and it's my dog, it looked like a fucking potato. And he's like, yeah, this is my dog. I was like, that's the dog? He's like, yeah, this is the body, this is the face, and this is the tail. My dog, he loves food, just like me. And I was like, oh, I see. And <laughs> And he, and he was like, I drew you a picture, too. I was like, I don't want it. And he, like, puts the paper down. And it's, like, this stick figure with, like, this big-ass green shirt and a hat. I was like, is this supposed to be me? And he's like, yeah, that's you. And this is me. And, like, it was this really, really tiny stick figure with a bottle of water. And he's like, that's me giving you the water. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> I don't I don't want it. I draw stick like, figures when I'm bored, not to hit on like, people. I'm gonna hang this up on my wall and I was like, cool. And then he's leaving, I'll come back again, subway lady. I was like, No, don't come back <laughs> And then that Lily just not gives a shit and he's like, Yeah, yeah. He he's like that. Why though? I don't know. <laughs> who who was like that? Was it his mom? No, it was the kid. Giving strangers bottles of water because he thinks they're sad. Drink hey, up. It's okay. He he told me that his mother told him that you can drink your problems away, and he was like, oh. "Yeah, I drink so much milk." And I was like, "Oh, I see." <laughs> I I'm sure your mother does too. Uh. Oh. <laughs> What is it, Erica? Uh, I, I was thinking about Leon. Uh, the, the last time we saw him was a year and a half ago. You're right. It was at Great Keep. Has it really only been a year and a half? Leon, where are you? We're over here, Erica, making out. I mean, you'd better be quick. <laughs> you better <laughs> she's tired of waiting. Uh, oh, please, I'm sure you can wait a few minutes longer. Why are they off screen, though? Because they're there. The yowies. You're late. How does it take you so long to prepare for such a simple trip? Who has Leon? Or has he not shown up yet? He has uh, not shown up yet. He might have, but I don't recall. Do you want me to take him? Actually, I like Lucarius' evil villain voice. <laughs> but he's not evil. Yes. He's a good guy. Ah, oh, yeah, d definitely. Definitely. But you know what, uh, just in case, why don't you take him? I'm pretty sure he has already spoiled it for me, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Demon King. Yeah, My and heart has died. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, rest easy, Ephraim. There's no need to be so curt with your sister, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, <he's> a... <laughs> After all, a king must learn to treat women with honor and discretion. Saw, dude. <laughs> That's what Father McGregor says. Zoinks. Uh, uh, thanks, Leon. You, unlike my <coughs> dear brother, are a true gentleman. Hey. I was up far too late thinking about my prayer to the temple flame last night. And I'm 
afraid I, I overslept. <gasps> Your prayer? What are you babbling about? Oh jeez, Ephraim. Come now, you know that flame has been burning since the time of darkness, ain't it? You must know the story of the flame will answer the prayers of any pilgrim. Lily, I didn't know that. Oh, a frame. Father McGregor is going to scold you for neglecting your studies, so... That was Erica. Don't even joke about that. So tell us, what have you decided to pray for, Erica? Uh, I... Uh... It's a, it's a secret. I should have known. You're so boring. Yeah, well, fuck you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, how about you, friend? Oh, God, I, I don't fucking know how to do a surfer voice. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have a story about that after this. Oh, oh boy. Me? Let's see. I guess I'll pray to become a stronger fighter. That's just like you, a frame. <laughs> Bro. Just, just like you, a deep brother. I can never tell if you're complimenting or mocking me. Why is there cat food over there by the door? Praise you, of course. Triangle? Right, Erica? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you, Leon. What will you pray for? What, me? I hate how the new map doesn't have. Mm. It has the basketball things, but you you can't you can't throw the bombs in it. Talk to me quiet, please. How about you go suck a dick and die? Okay, no problem. Wow. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. <laughs> I suppose all I really want is for all our people to be happy. That's very, uh, it's very much like you. Or a hot babe very in a miniskirt, so either way. On. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> a hot babe in a miniskirt. <laughs> okay, I mean... No, I'm the one who can't tell if he's being praised or... You're being praised, as always, Leon. Tell me, why the sudden decision to visit the temple? Did my brother do something again? Hey, that guy was asking for it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh no, it's not what a frame's done. It's what he hasn't done. He's learned nothing at all about the sacred stones in the temple flame, so... Father McGregor became angry. He said, one destined to become king and rule over a nation must know the history of his kingdom, and must respect the sacred stones. Ever since I came to Grado, my life has been chast- Hang on, what is that? Chastisement? And cast- Chastisement. Okay, chastisement and castigation. Whatever! Blah! Father McGregor does not think me to be altogether too kingly. And yet, General DeSalle's nothing but praise for you, Ephraim. He says you're brave and true, that you have the makings of a great king. A great king? I honestly have no idea what that means. <laughs> Erica should succeed the throne. I would be happy simply taking my lance and traveling the land as a mercenary. Frame that that's nothing but foolish, irresponsible romanticism. Hey, I didn't say there'd be a girl. There should be a girl, though. <laughs> Do you realize how much your words would fill Father's heart with grief? Are we speaking of the same man? Our father will likely outlive us all. For now, I'm content just learning the lance from General Dussel. What about you, Leon? Is there anything you want to do? Me? Well, I... I suppose I want to become like my father. You were born, you were the... born oh, to be the Emperor of Grado, Leon. It suits you. 
No, I, I don't think so. I'm not... One thing I do know from watching my father is that being emperor is hard. Every day he answers the complaints of the people and he almost never sleeps. My father is always so very tired. I hope one day that... I hope that I can help him. Leon, you're so honorable. You should learn from him, brother. Again with your criticism. Tell me, Erica, what say you to dressing like me and becoming king in my stead? You're so skinny, I doubt anyone would notice you're not really a man. You're so skinny. <laughs> a, a frame! Don't you talk shit on these titties. <laughs> I did not <laughs> say that. The implication was there. <laughs> uh, what what do you suppose God is doing now? When Emperor Vigard ordered the invasion, how do you think Leon felt? He's always been so gentle, but he worships his father. He'd never question him. But the Emperor is clearly not behaving rationally. I just hope he's not so far gone that he'd hurt his own flesh and blood. Uh, I, I just pray for the day when the three of us can be together once again. It'll come, I have no doubt. Oh, oh, a frame, welcome! <laughs> the two of you return together, it's like a dream come true! You must know I've prayed every day for your safe return! I'm so happy to see you, Tana. I'm so, so I'm sorry, Tana. I didn't want you for you to worry. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Oh, All that really matters is that we've been brought together again. My own brother will soon return from the field. Oh, it'll be nice to sit down and. Discuss things again. Bring the sauna. Welcome home, dear brother. I'm so happy to see you return safe and sound. You didn't expect less, did you? Do you think Kratos slugs could touch me? With my bow, I'll take down every Grado soldier from here to the Emperor's palace. Oh, okay. Well met, Inns. E-frame. It's good to see you, Prince Innes. They say Renes has fallen. I believe I warned you before. This happened because you provided Grado the opportunity to strike. Brother, mind your tongue. This is no occasion for such harsh words. Frame and Erica have lost their father to this terrible war. I'm sorry to hear of your father's death. Hear me, Frame. Our most important task is to defeat Grado and end this war. Oh, it is. I'm so sorry, Erica. Ephraim. It's alright. It's comforting to see that, in all of this, at least he hasn't changed. Inns has hated me for as long as I can remember. My brother looks upon you as a rival, Ephraim! As you know, he wants to be the best at everything! The best king, the best general, the best fighter, the best man at Ye Hunter and Noodle's wedding! He won't allow himself no, to be beaten no, at anything. No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Tana! Oh, oh. That's you. Oh, right. Tana, you talk too much. My father would like both of you to sit with him in a war council. 
Will you come with me to take part in your official audience? Yes, of course. There's much that I have to... Ah, is that... It will be our honor to attend. This way. It does my heart good to see you all here safely within our castle walls. With that, we had more time for our pleasantries, but let us hear your news. Very well, I will begin. I've directed the body of Fuerria's army south to engage Grado directly. Our troops are proving themselves superior, and the battle progresses favorably. Hmm. But the riddle still needs answering. Why did Grado begin this war in the first place? Your Majesty, we may well have found something relating to that. We learned something on our travels. News that weighs heavily upon us. Ah yes, our messenger delivered your report to us a few days ago. It was trying to destroy the sacred stones. Is that it? Yes. We've strengthened the tower's defenses. Fuebria's stone is safe for the time being. But if we, we, but we remain confused in this. What does Grado hope to gain by destroying the sacred stones? We don't know. The legends say that the stones protect us all from the power of darkness. I can't say if it's related, but I have a story about Grado. It's, it's been troubling me, and I would like to share it with you all. Mur, come here, please. Yes? yes? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm her. Who's this girl? I, I'm just a little curious. Does like even carry Murr in his back pocket because she'll just kind of show up from time to time. It was like, it's implied that she's there, but no one will really acknowledge her most of the time. It's your pocket dragon. Not my own pocket dragon. The original Pokemon. <laughs> On her back, wings. The frame. Who is she? This is Mar. I met her while fighting in Grado territory. Mar, would you please tell everyone here the story you told me? Please, Ephraim, you tell them. She's a bit shy. Very well. Mar tells me that she belongs to an ancient race of dragonfolk. They are mentioned in a few legends. They're called the Tribe of Manakee. Manakeet? Yes, their name appears several times in the Tale of the Sacred Stones. It says that they were neither human nor demon, but a separate, aloof race. Please, Mur. We live in the east, in Darkling Woods. One day, We felt something. An ominous energy from the south? Was that what it yes. said? Yes. It went too fast. Sorry. From the direction of Grado. They felt a force flowing out of the Grado Empire. Salia and I, we went to investigate this energy. But on our way, we came across a battle, and were drawn into conflict. Into the conflict. Mur got lost and was wandering aimlessly in an isolated region near Grado's border. I met some wicked folk there. They deceived me and chained me. They stole my Dragonstone. They were preparing me for transport. It was in that moment when Ephraim appeared and rescued me. What a bro. Oh. I stumbled across Mar by chance when Grado's men had ambushed us. Everything she told me seemed beyond belief, and yet... And yet when I saw her wings, what could I do but believe? 
This dark wave of energy still flows from the Southlands. Its, its current is strong and runs deep. It has awakened the evil ones. I want to stop it. My Majesty, I bring word. Oh, I, 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 I'm still trying to pronounce the word. But it's so urgent that you would interrupt a private council. The tower holding the secret of Euphoria. It's been destroyed by the Great Old Army! Uh -oh. What? That's impossible! What of the soldiers on watch? There were supposed to be many. The enemy forces. They were led by Kalesh, the Tiger Eye, and Selena. Floor spy. A soldier fell before even half a day had passed. Or even gas. Sorry, that was me. What the fuck is that? Selena Flores. Selena Flores Bar. Eh, close enough. <laughs> Only General Desol is higher in Emperor Vigarde's esteem. She's the one. She came personally. So they really do wish to see the sacred stones destroyed. Blast. Oh no, the Fuerians are dying. <laughs> oh, they're dead, mate. They got them, boys. Where do they find oh, these soldiers? Ha! <laughs> 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 so this hunk of rock is a sacred stone, eh? Actually, was that me? I so. think it might have been me. I mean, you can have him if I you want. I think you had a Reeve and Volter. Oh, right, like, so Walter the Moon. So much as fragile as this. Watch, it crumbles so easily. Do we gain anything by this? Not that I care, but... Maybe I'm supposed to press it. Got horror, 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 horror. Ah, what's this? Still breathing, are you? No, I'm just exhaling. Come, if you have any last words, I'll hear them, fool of Fralia. My last words are. You waste your last words on insults, feeble ones of that. Hardly the right note to enter the eternal on, wouldn't you say? Well then, die! Jeez, dick. Hold! What are you doing? What's his name? Kalak? Kalak! Kalak! Our job was to destroy the sacred stone. I know that, and I crushed it, uh, not. But if we don't clean up these Fralian curs, they might. You do not raise your blade to anyone who is powerless to resist you. Your emperor does not desire us to kill without cause. That will be murder. Right. The emperor. Your name's Selena, ain't it? Tell me, Selena, what makes that pasty-faced old fool's words so important? Wretch, do you dare insult his imperial majesty? Hey, hey, I'm joking. Don't get so worked up. I get it now. You're a true and loyal soldier. I'm leaving before Fralian's Fralia sends reinforcements. Where we are. Coming. <laughs> you can't defeat the evil Dr. Wywin for your castle. Dr. Willie and me gay man? <laughs> you gay man? Me gay man? <laughs> Okay. How could I have allowed our sacred stone to be destroyed? Dark energies from the Empire's capital. Evil monstrosities roaming our lands. Vicard's mad invasion. And now this. The destruction of our sacred talisman. And we have no idea of Grado's goals. We are in dark times once again. But even so, we cannot sit here wringing our hands. 
First, we must warn the nations that house the remaining sacred stones. If the guard seeks to destroy the stones, they are all in grave danger. Jahana and Rostin must be warned. The nations just must join together to fight our common foe. Do you think they will believe us? Hmm. This is a difficult tale to believe, I must agree. I will go, Father. Inns? A direct visit from the Prince of Fuebia is not something they can ignore. I will travel to Jahana, where I will forge an alliance with her queen. If our sacred stone has been destroyed, then Fuebia could be in greater danger. Father, I cannot let you leave the nation in such a time of crisis. It is imperative that I be the one to go. Hmm. And I will head for Rostin. Erica? You know I can't just let you put yourself in such danger. Rest easy, dear brother. Oh, we'll journey to Rostin by ship across the North Sea. There will be no danger. And I have made a vow. I will fight as you have until the day Renee's is liberated. I understand. King Hayden, I will take troops and march on the Imperial capital from the west. The west? Are you saying you will begin an assault on Grado from here? If we can take Grado Keep, the war will be over. The Sacred Stones will be safe. If we start here and press forward, with all our might. And once you reach the capital, the guards' generals will be there waiting for you. If they oppose us, we will fight. You've got your father's full-hearted courage, don't you? Very well. I entrust all our hope to you three. Inns, you will go to Johanna. Erica, you will go to Rostin. And Ephraim, the Imperial Capital. Funding you will have but of soldiers. We have few to spare. For each of you, a difficult road awaits. If any of us meets with defeat, the battle will return to Grato's, Grato's favor. There must be no errors. We must not fail. Where I command, there are no mistakes. I have no doubts. I'll succeed, I swear it. Come, it is time to go. It'd be awesome if the, uh, they remade the game with uh, a campaign for in in us. Well, he doesn't need a campaign because they go together. I know. Wait. Farewell, brother. I will return. And they meet up again, but. I think it would be cool yeah, if they could like rewrite two that. Chapters. I mean, maybe they could rewrite it because they change where a lot of units kind of show up based on which path you take already. Whatever, I thought it'd be a cool idea. Hmm. To be honest, I still do not want you to go. I would rather you wait here for my return. Please, Ephraim. I will be fine. There's no need for you to worry. Mine is the easiest task, and I'll be in no danger. I'm far more worried about your mission. Challenging the might of an empire with a handful of men. What's this now? Have you lost your faith in me? No, of course not. I know your true strength, Ephraim. No one can defeat you. <laughs> Hearing you say that fills me with determination. <gasps> Undertale. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I think I know my own limitations. I won't overextend my reach. I can't die and leave you on your own, can I? Ah, crappy frames. Roasting me. Ephraim. Let us both survive to be reunited. Give me your word, Erica. Oh, sorry. You have a brother. They'll now part ways. Which one will I accompany? Well, 
I'm sorry, E Flame's too awesome. Maybe I'll do both. <laughs> Tati. Ah, uh, Prince Ephraim. Is that you, Seth? I'm almost ready to depart. I'm leaving Erica in your care. Actually, me lord. <laughs> me lord. Me lord. We have the honor of riding with you. What? What about Erica? The princess informs me that she will be accompanied by a Frillian escort. Frillian. Frillian escort, sorry, forgot. She tells me she does not need a large re retainer. Yeah. yeah, what he said. <laughs> on such a small ship. I understand, but we must be prepared for anything. I will be fine, Seth. Please go and attend Erica. <clears throat> yeah, I heard. Sorry, I'm just saying. Anyway, Lord Ephraim, this is Lady Erica's wish. She implored us to to lend our blades to you on the front lines. She spoke to each of us individually. She knelt before us and beseeched us to go. Her sincerity, her concern, we could not help but be moved by her plea. Now, oh, Erica. Very well. You will c all come with me. But steal yourselves. This will not be an easy journey. I want only volunteers who are unafraid of meeting death. Ahem! Ahem! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll let the others know. <laughs> I must tell you, me lord, they are already preparing to depart. They know the risks they are taking, and not, and not a one will be deterred. Finally, huh? I'm actually gonna overwrite this file, so if I do decide to do both. But, ah, uh, Taravalni is over. And I think, considering how much dialogue there was, I'm just gonna go ahead and end off an episode here. Okay. <sighs>